What we have in mind is breakfast in bed for 400,000. Those iconic images still unbelievable half a century on from the festival that many say changed a generation. And this is the iconic album and photo that has represented Woodstock for the last five decades, representing and symbolizing peace and togetherness. Well, this is just an image. The couple on here still can't believe they're a part of history. The stage was that? down on the bottom of the bowl on the bottom of this beautiful natural amphitheater. Bobby and her boyfriend at the time, Nick, who is now her husband, were the couple famously photographed over the three-day festival that is on the album cover. At the time, they didn't even know their photo was being taken. The moment the picture was taken, I have no idea. I do not remember it. I certainly remember the crowd around us. I remember the blanket. I remember bits and pieces of that day, but I don't remember actually what we were feeling or thinking that time. The couple was among the almost half a million strong crowd that took in the weekend promoting the intersection of peace and music. Organizers had only anticipated about a tenth of that number. Linda Gibson also made the trip going with her friends from Toronto. So this was all what was happening, how we got there, and day two, conditions bad, 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 bad. Linda kept a journal documenting her time at the concert in what seemed like a lifetime ago. She says what she remembers most clearly was the weather in the summer of 69. The mud and the nudity. I was so naive. I mean, even in here I'm writing, people are walking around naked, so many naked, naked, naked people. and. I had never seen anything like this. While well, the weekend has spawned legendary stories about drug use and the vastness of the crowds, what truly brought the people together was the music, a lineup that to this day seems almost unbelievable on paper. From the now legendary Jimi Hendrix performance of the Star Spangled Banner, to Joe Cocker and the Grease Band making rock and roll history. But what was it like to actually perform at the festival? Well, performing was very exciting because we were a New York City band, Blood, Sweat and Tears, and that was very much a hometown audience. So they, we were very well received. But ironically, the artists are the last person you should ask about impressions of Woodstock because we were the ones that were only there for an hour. Five decades later, many have tried to recreate the event of a lifetime. But David believes that it will never happen again and they should stop trying. My thoughts are I've refused to be involved in any of it. It's a, it's a scam. You know, it's promoters trying to make money off of a unique moment in history that will never, ever happen again. When I asked the festival attendees if they knew at the time that they were part of and witnessing history, for the most part, they said they had no idea the significance of the event until years later when the movie was released commemorating the festival. Lindsay Dunn, City News, Toronto.